Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Art Seat, your number one source for all things films and movies. And over the years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it seems like, for the most part, Marvel really tries to do a good job at avoiding spoilers whenever they're promoting their movies, especially in the more recent years. And sometimes it seems like they go as far as putting in scenes for the trailer that are actually altered, doctored, or even non-existent to the actual movie to avoid giving away major spoilers along the way. And since they've done this so many times now, there's actually quite a few scenes out there that don't actually exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But real quick, if you want more content like this on maybe a faster basis, make sure you guys are following us on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below. We post a ton of content over there. Okay, let's go back to the video. So today we wanted to take a look at some of these scenes that didn't actually make it into the movie and were actually non-existent. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First up, we can look at Thor Ragnarok, which actually features one of the first examples of this that we can really reference. But in the trailer, we actually see Thor with both of his eyes. However, later on in the movie, if you actually watch the movie, you know that he doesn't have both of his eyes there. And that was, of course, to avoid the spoilers that he does, in fact, lose an eye. But you can see there is a difference here. And here's the scene that actually plays in the theatrical version of the movie. Well... Fate does want you to kill that crab sack, you're gonna need more than one stupid eyeball. What's this? What's it look like? Some jerk lost a bet with me in Contraxia. He gave you his eye? No, nah, he gave me a hundred credits. I snuck into his room later that night and stole his eye. Thank you, sweet rabbit. Then another great example of this is in Spider-Man Homecoming. Now in this movie, they obviously wanted to use Iron Man as this type of paternal figure towards Peter Parker. And they also wanted people to know that, yeah, Iron Man is in this movie. And there's actually this really cool scene that's only in Spider-Man Homecoming's trailer that shows Spider-Man and Iron Man flying together through Queens. But that scene actually doesn't exist in the real film though we actually only get a limited number of scenes that have Peter Parker and Iron Man together. Then things really started getting different when Avengers Infinity War rolled around because there were a lot of little things that were kind of showcased that got fans really excited as to what could happen in Avengers Infinity War. For example, in the Battle of Wakanda, in the trailer, we can see all of the heroes getting ready to battle, running together, and there's even this shot that has the Hulk in it. Though we know, actually, that the Incredible Hulk doesn't make an appearance in the later part of this movie at all, and this Wakanda battle scene is completely different. Another one that a lot of people were speculating on before the movie released was when we saw Thanos fighting against Steve Rogers with his Infinity Gauntlet. And in the trailer, they actually only show that he only has a few of the Infinity Stones, though at the time of this fight sequence, he actually has almost all of them at that point. So it is funny that they actually changed it to kind of not spoil whether or not Thanos gets the Infinity Stones in the movie. Avengers Endgame was another movie that did this in multiple different occurrences. In Avengers Endgame, one of the early trailers we saw shows Rocket opening the door to what we find out later is Thor's house on New Asgard. But as it turns out in the actual film, we see Professor Hulk be the one with Rocket in this mission. But obviously they wanted to keep the existence of Professor Hulk under wraps. So we don't actually see him in any of the trailers. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so good to see you! Give me your cuddly little rascal! Oh, yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Not, yeah. It's not necessary. Oh, Hulk, you know, uh, you know my friends, me from Cornwall, right? Hey, hey boys. guys. Then there's this short sequence of Black Widow doing target practice, which didn't make its way in the film at all.
we see this really awesome moment of Captain America with his shield and he's kind of tightening it up for the epic showdown. But in the final film, they've already been fighting for quite some time and Thanos actually had broken a large portion of the shield, which is a really big deal in the context of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So they actually altered the trailer to show a version with the shield unbroken so that it would throw fans off into knowing what happens in the movie and it makes that moment even more exciting. Then we have this really cool shot where everyone is walking along and for whatever reason, a lot of fans were trying to speculate what was going on because in a lot of versions of these scenes that we saw in whether there were different trailers or just alternate versions of this trailer, we never actually get to see Thor or the Incredible Hulk in any way. This is likely because Marvel wanted to keep Professor Hulk a surprise and of course the fact that Marvel did not want to spoil that Thor becomes fat in a five year time jump which was also hidden under wraps very well, it makes sense that they kept that one out. Also in the second trailer, there's a lot of voiceover lines at the beginning that did not make it into the final film and they are actual fresh recordings that were made for the trailer. So those never made it into the movie. God, seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. And there's even a shot in the trailer with Thor looking fit, though this sequence is supposed to be from the final battle, which is after the five year jump. In the later trailer that popped up, we have this quick shot of Black Widow sitting in the rain that also did not make it into the final film. And then the post credit scenes from Captain Marvel had this really interesting moment where of course we see Captain Marvel come to where all the Avengers are and asks where Fury is, though this sequence of course it doesn't exist in the movie either, and almost doesn't quite line up with how the narrative would work, but it was more of a tease than an actual plot point. Hey, so that thing just stopped doing whatever the hell it did. Whatever signal was sending finally crashed out. I thought we bypassed the battery. Well, we did. It's still plugged in, it just, it just stopped. The second you get a signal, I wanna know who's on the other end of that thing. Where's Fury? But anyways, those are just a few of our favorite moments of scenes that were not in the final version of the movie. 
What did you guys think of these scenes? Make sure you let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Yes. I'm about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, See you guys. Know